Meet Shira Breyer, or she jokingly calls herself Princess of Empowerment. She's the author of a new book called Motivate, Eight Ways to Rock Your Own World. And she says it was her own rocky relationship with her mother that led to her path in life. I had a lot of struggles when I was a teenager. My mother had a tremendous amount of struggle with her mother and so on down the line. And so I felt that I learned so much what to do and also what not to do that I've really worked at it and I, I have a fabulous relationship with my daughter. Breyers built herself up as a songwriter and motivational speaker, encouraging women to build healthy relationships with their daughters. And according to Shira, it all starts with your relationship with yourself. And when you get that right, everything kind of shifts. Breyer says she knows this because of her own epiphany moment. I read this book and it just like had this massive impact on me. And it got me started along this personal development journey that made me realize that everything that I struggle with, all my challenges, it's all up to me to make those changes. Now Shira's put a lot of the mantras she lives by into a book for moms and their daughters. It comes with a selection of songs that pair up with each of the chapters. Of the eight skill sets she talks about, Shira says her favorite would be meditation. I think M for meditation has been probably the single-handed thing that has changed and transformed my life. Teaching moms and daughters and pretty much everybody to be more mindful, to learn how to breathe deeply. She recently held a book signing at Barnes & Noble in Carl Place, Long Island. Some of the proceeds from that night are going to the Girl Scouts of Nassau County. Way back in the winter of 93. Her special guest for the event, her daughter, Aiden. I, you know, I've seen a lot of mother-daughter relationships. I've never really encountered one like ours. She's the best. <laughs> The awareness is what we're missing in this world. And then to give our daughters the skills and tools to create a kinder world. I'm not saying men aren't compassionate, I'm just saying we're really good at it and we need more of it. A message to take to heart this Mother's Day. And even 